I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Jump in right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin pullback yesterday. I'm going to play this clip from yesterday's video. I talked about this idea on November the 26th. Looking for an impulsive wave. Here, let me just play this video real quick. Ready? Go. November 26th. I said, I'm looking for a large impulsive wave out of Bitcoin. Same plan, still looking for this. We could see max pain, potentially that's still coming or playing out as we speak before a major reversal. Bitcoin's like a timer. You don't wanna get caught holding the big bags of altcoins when the timer goes off. If you have 40 coins on November 26, I said this, you need to downsize to about five. You can't manage 40 coins. Now, obviously, Bitcoin had this massive drawdown, right? Massive pullback. But let's rewind a little bit. Let's go back in time and let's see where this started from, right? This was posted and talked about on YouTube previously. We had this breakout of all-time highs. Talked about 71,000, 76,000, 81,000, $103,000 Bitcoin. We talked about these levels. But what I did say is this, Bitcoin 12-hour, Bulls must pump the price to avoid bearish divergence on the RSI from being confirmed. An easy way to trick new money into longs is to break all-time highs and trap them. It's all about these traps. The reason why I've made millions of dollars in this market is because I identify these traps and I know the market's going to go the complete opposite direction based on these ideas. And I nailed some of the biggest major swings that Bitcoin's had over the past six months based on this strategy alone. And this is new to me. And I'm, I've, I can't even believe how good I've gotten at this. And so I want you to understand this. When you get a bull trap, when you get a breakout of all-time highs and it doesn't hold, the bulls don't hold this level and it fails, you're looking for a massive drawdown. This was a bear trap right down here at 28,000, where essentially I knew to open longs on this bullish retest, right? So bears get trapped here and get completely drugged the other direction. This was a bull trap right here because this was previous all-time high. Bulls got trapped here and you had this massive drawdown. So pay attention to these traps. And when you do get trapped or you see longs or shorts get trapped, you want to open a position go in the other direction or close your longs right if you're not trading short with leverage so I, I really wanted to share this idea with you now let's figure out what's going on with bitcoin and we talked about yesterday pullback to this level forty-eight thousand would be a bullish retest and it, the price action obviously got completely wrecked we saw forty-one thousand forty-two thousand dollar bitcoin at this point today right now so far like this is still a higher low. So low, higher low, higher low, still an uptrend. You really wanna see the weekly close above this level right here for bullish ideas to exist. Definitely not back down in here, but we have to have some market structure to look into. You've lost a 21 week simple moving average, which, which happened here, right? And then Bitcoin bulls showed up again. Let's zoom into the idea we talked about yesterday the Bitcoin six hour chart. And we said, hey, we're just waiting. It's a waiting game. It's a waiting game. It's a waiting game. And we're waiting for either the bulls to show up or potential downside. Now what happened went completely against all probabilities and percentages. These are supposed to break out to the upside when they break these falling wedges. When falling wedges break to the downside, you get parabolic drops, okay? So if you come in here and you take the measured move, of this downside drop that we had. That gives us a price target around this level right here, around 41,300, which was hit. Now the question is, you have this tremendous bounce. What you don't wanna see is you don't wanna see a bearish retest where this comes up and retests this pattern and then further downside. At this point, we have to wait for further market structure to get built. You can see that recently, the price action just now bounced real hard and it's come back up here and it's getting rejected by the 21 simple. Okay, so you see this, you've got declining volume on increasing price, that's bearish. 
This was an RSI oversold bounce. A lot of people in group today made a ton of money on oversold bounces across the market. Okay, so I need some market structure in here. One thing about pattern trading is I need some market structure in here to get a better idea of what's going on. This is not bullish, right? For this to be bullish, what would happen is that you have to come back, back up and break back into this pattern and bounce on this bullish retest open longs. That would make this entire price movement a bear trap. And then we, the, the ideas for a massive reversal going the other direction would be in play, definitely on a breakout of this falling wedge. However, at this point, until that happens, you, you have to think about downside ideas or, but, but at this point, I mean, this was just an oversold bounce. And so now your next low, you wanna see a low that's higher than this previous low for a bullish idea. You know, if you get some downside continuation cascading effect, you might see further retrace. The main thing I wanna emphasize in this video is this is not about price targets or predicting. That's not what TA is. TA is gonna give you an edge. It's gonna give you a, it's get, the market's gonna give you a signal, buy or sell, right? And you, you essentially wanna focus on those signals so you know when to enter and actually your positions. Earlier in group this morning, I posted this. This is what you do not want to see, a bearish retest of this falling wedge, it, downside continuation. So again, we're gonna see some price structure get put, it put in here. We'll have a lot better idea as far as where things go. And I think what happens a lot is people get stuck holding these coins and every move is important and, and it wears you out, right? There's a point where like, I do not hold downtrends. No part of me wants to hold any coin that's just drawing down, right? I don't want to hold a downtrend. It's not, no, I don't want to do it. I think I sold it like 64,000, I told you guys. So here we are, Bitcoin. Very bearish break lower, but you had longs get completely wrecked and destroyed. Is it a market reset? A lot of people want to know. I got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person, and I listened to your tips and I was, 80% cash when this happened. It, it, the waiting has paid off. This person, I made 24% in 35 minutes. I covered my loss and I took a small profit. Like you have to have these strategies in place. We have 5,900 subscribers in the trading group because we kill it. Right now, if you sign up, it's 60% off six months or 12 months, I will help you make a ton of money in this market. Period. Remember, you go over to the website, cryptorev.net. It pays for itself. It's a no-brainer, cryptorev.net. If you go down into the description of this video, there's a link to take you directly to this website. Remember, if you have any questions, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. December the 3rd, yesterday, I posted the crypto market is built on max pain, max pain cycle where all the new money FOMOs into the top here where they get trapped, they FOMO in here and then max pain, they get chewed up and spit out by this massive capitulation. Now Bitcoin funding rates, the market, now these are green. Normally we're worried about them if you're you know holding coins and whatnot and these are super red overheated now these are these are green there's a there's a lot of shorts right? shorts are paying longs right now there's a lot of people looking for more downside out of the market and remember that the market likes to take the most amount of money from the majority so as soon as we see this flip and there's not a certain threshold like when this number is hit then we look for upside out of bitcoin out of the all coins right but there's a ton of green here, barely any red. The most of the market is short. They're looking for further downside. We're going to finish on a bullish note, just bullish on our lifetimes, bullish on what's coming in the future with metaverse, bullish on our future, financial futures are golden. Seoul became the first major city to announce that it's going to enter the metaverse with plans to establish a platform for contactless communication by the end of 2022. That's a year from now. And I, and I stated, hey, did you miss buying Bitcoin in 2011? Most people did. No one saw it coming. This metaverse phenomenon, we see it coming. We talk about it every day. We're gonna make so much money because we're in this before people do not see what's about to happen with metaverse and NFTs.
sometimes things happen for a reason. You're in this market and you see the future. When I, trust me, when I started in this market, uh, my trades, believe me, my first altcoin trade, I lost 50%. I had no idea what I was doing. I bought $18,000 Bitcoin a month and a, month and a half later, it was $6,000 Bitcoin, right? I'm just listening to what people on YouTube talk about. Buy the dip, buy the dip. They didn't say don't buy the dip in a downtrend. The future in metaverse, NFTs, GameFi, gaming, we're going to make so much money off this. So the losses that were incurred today will become a thing of the past. We're about to make a tremendous amount of money on what's about to happen to the world over the next two, three, four, five, ten 10 years because we see it coming. Same type of upside that Bitcoin has seen over the last 10 years, metaverse, NFTs, GameFi. It's going to be huge. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.